One of the first things that you must learn before you can become a successful eBay seller is exactly what makes a winning product a winning product. This is one of the first things that I needed to learn on my journey when I first started selling on eBay around nine years ago. And I'm always adding new winning products to my existing stores or I'm building new eBay stores. Like for example, as you can see from this store right here, I was able to generate around 81 thousand pounds in sales and after all the selling cost was taken off I was left with around 74 thousand pounds in net sales in just a few months so I know a thing or two when it comes to identifying a winning product and that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you in today's video let's go what's going on people welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Sam and what I do here is break down various different tips and tricks when it comes to making money online in today's video what I'm going to be doing is jumping into the laptop and showing you what I've learned over the years when it comes to knowing exactly what a winning product is I'm going to be walking you through a couple things that you need to know if you're a brand new seller so make sure you stick around to the end there's going to be so much value in this video and if you do find any value in it at any point don't forget to press the like button don't forget to subscribe as well hit the bell notification let's jump straight into the video so first things first, before you do any product research, you obviously need to have an item in mind and there's various different ways that you can find an item to do a little bit more research into. I'm not going to be going too much into that in today's video because I just want to show you what you need to do once you've found an item that you want to do some research into. But if you don't have any idea on what item to research, you can find it by either using Zeek Analytics. So Zeek Analytics is a product research tool, but they also have a very useful feature called 500 best selling eBay items. It's gonna take you to this page right here that's gonna show you all of the best winning items that are currently performing well on eBay for the past week, past couple weeks. So from here, you're now gonna be able to get an idea of which item you can go away and do a little bit more research into. And if you wanna sign up for a seven day trial with Zeek Analytics, you can click the link in my description down below. And another way that you can find items to do a little bit more research into is by using Amazon. So you simply go onto the Amazon homepage, click on best sellers at the top, click on whatever category that you wanna search. And then from here, it's gonna show you all of the best items that are currently selling well on Amazon right now. But as I already said, I've got another video coming out real soon that's gonna show you various different ways that you can find items to do more research into. This one's just to show you what to do afterwards. So once you've found your item and you definitely wanna make sure that it's a winning product, one of the first things that you need to do is go over to Terapeak. And the way that you're gonna find that is by logging into your eBay account, clicking on research at the top right here, clicking on Terapeak product research, and this is the page that you're gonna see. Now, once you're here, what you're gonna do is type in the item that you're searching for. So the item that I'm gonna look at in today's video is vacuum cleaning bags. All right, so scrolling down, one of the first things that you need to look out for is the total amount of sales. And as you guys can see, vacuum cleaner bags have over 7.7 .7 million pounds in sales over the last 365 days. And essentially what this means is that over 7 million pounds were spent by various different customers on items that had the keywords vacuum cleaner bags in it. And when it comes to identifying a winning product, for me personally, I like to make sure that at least 1 million pounds minimum was spent on it over the past year. This is a strong indicator to know whether or not it's definitely a winning product because you wanna make sure that customers are actually buying the item that you're thinking about selling. And the bigger that this number is over the past year, the more likely you know that you're gonna be able to generate sales. So seven million pounds is definitely a lot of money. The next thing that you wanna look out for is the total amount of sellers. Now you wanna make sure that the total amount of sellers compared to the total amount of sales is relatively low. And the only way that you're gonna be able to compare whether or not the total amount of sellers is high or low is when you're doing your product research with other items that you're considering to sell. The ones that you wanna go with is the ones that have more total sales but less total sellers. And over my many years of doing product research when it comes to finding a winning product on eBay, 9 million total sellers is definitely a decent amount compared to 7 million pounds. So scrolling down a little bit further, the next thing that you need to do is click on this arrow right here. And it's gonna take you to this chart right here that's gonna show you the total quantities that were sold each and every day. And because we're looking at the past year, this is really perfect because we're gonna be able to see whether or not there's been any massive dips or whether or not there's been any changes in the amount of vacuum cleaning bags that customers are buying last year compared to this year. And as we can see, last year there was around 900, 800, maybe 1,000 vacuum bags that were sold every single day. However, this year it's roughly the same, 1,000, some days it's 800, some days it goes back up to 1,000 quantities that were sold every single day. So this is really good. And this is one of the next key things that I like to look out for. I like to make sure that whatever item I'm gonna sell, there's a minimum amount of 800 that's being purchased to at least 1,000 every single day. If it's less than that, of course, you can still import it and try and sell it yourself. But the more 
that's being purchased on eBay per day, the more likely you're going to be able to make sales and the more sales that you're going to be able to make, the more money that you're going to be able to make for your business. So the ideal situation would be for at least 800 to 1000 units to be purchased every single day. And this product has exactly that. So, so far, so good. This product is ticking all the boxes. So a lot of new eBay sellers will see this and think that it should be an item that they should stay away from because it's clearly a popular item. The sellers that are selling it are able to fulfill all of these orders. So there's no point in them trying to sell it themselves. And this is the mindset that I had when I first started selling. I felt like if I was to try and sell an item like this, I wasn't going to succeed because there's obviously a lot of sellers. There's obviously a lot of customers. And if I'm a brand new seller, what chance do I have? When realistically, that's not the case because all the sellers that are selling it right now, they may run out of stock, their account may get closed down, eBay may ban them, something may happen where they're not going to be able to fulfill all of the demand on eBay at the moment. But once you're able to clearly identify that customers want a particular item every single day, it means that that's the direction that you should be moving towards. Rather than trying to sell an item where there's only 20 or 50 units that are being sold every single day, it means that customers don't really care about the item whereas when there's thousands of units that are being sold last year and also this year it means that that's the perfect item to try and sell not only that it also shows that it's an evergreen item as well because for the same amount of units to be purchased last year in comparison to this year it means that it's an evergreen item that people are going to need this year they're also going to need it next year and they might also need it in the next 10 years and these are the items that you want to try and sell items that you know people are going to need over the long term so one of the next things that you need to do is find out whether or not you're going to be able to source this item yourself. Now, one of the websites that I like to use when it comes to finding a supplier that's going to be able to source me with an item is Alibaba.com. So all you're simply going to do is go over to Alibaba.com, type in the same keyword over here, and you're going to scroll down and see whether or not you can find the exact same one. So straight away, I think I've been able to find the same one. It looks very similar to the one that we looked at on eBay. They seem to have put some sort of text on it. However, this one doesn't necessarily have any text might be slightly different but there's this one right here very similar again it doesn't need to be the exact same with the same text because this company may have put their own information on it but as you can see it's clearly the exact same item and one of the key things that you need to look out for once you're on this point is how many years the supplier has been on alibaba.com we can see that this one has been there for over 10 years ideally i like to make sure that the supply has been there for at least five years so straight away we already know that we're able to find a supplier we're going to be able to source the item ourselves you may also want to look at the minimum order quantity as you can see this one's only offering a thousand pieces but then again you're going to be able to now contact them and negotiate with them and from there they're going to be able to let you know if they can bring that down a little bit but the main thing that you need to do at this stage is just make sure that there's suppliers that are able to source you with the product and not just one supplier but at least there's multiple so that you know that if you ever have any issues with this supplier you're going to be able to go to another one and if i just jump back over to therapy quickly and look at the next few best-selling vacuum bags on Terrapeak. If I just click on the second one right here. So this is what the second best performing one looks like and we can see that this seller has sold over seven in the last 24 hours and they've sold 16,000 as well. And we can see that this one is also available on alibaba.com as well. So that's all you need to do from this point. You just need to make sure that it's going to be easy for you to find the same item that's performing well on Terrapeak on alibaba.com. You don't really want to be jumping through hoops just to find an item. You want to know that the same one is also available for you to import and sell yourself as well. So moving on to one of the next things that I personally do when it comes to knowing whether or not a winning product is a winning product is by looking at how much it's going to cost me in postage. Because if I'm able to get it for the cheapest amount possible, I know that this is going to be a good product for me to sell because I'm going to be able to cut down on postage costs. And the more that you're able to save on postage fees, the more profit that you're going to be able to keep. Whatever the item is or whatever the value is, I always like to make sure that it can fit into a large letter size box. And as you can see, it's going to be able to hold up to 750 grams in weight, which is also a lot as well. And depending on what service you plan on using, whether first class, sign for, second class, etc., it's only going to be from around one pound and five pence to ship out your orders. However, the next size up to that is a small parcel, which is going to cost two pounds and 85p every single time you want to ship out an order, which is going to eat into your profit. So I've got an example of exactly what a large letter size box looks like. So this is a sample right here. Now, this comes in so many different sizes. You can get it in this small size. This is how it looks. But you're also able to get ones that are this wide, even this wide, or even this wide. It all depends. But this is just an example to show you the width of what it looks like. It's always good to try and find an item that is this size because if you're able to fit it in here, 
As I said, you're going to be able to save money on postage. So this is probably one of the most important elements of finding a winning product because if you're able to find an item that can fit in here, but also has a decent value, it means that you're going to be able to make a lot of money because if customers order one or two or three, you may even be able to fit multiple quantities inside one box. And the more money that you can keep in your business, it ultimately means that you're going to have more profits to reinvest back into more winning products. And one of the final things that you need to do when it comes to finding a winning product is that you need to make sure that the return on investment is over 50%. Now, what I mean by this is you need to use a spreadsheet like this. So I've already input all of the figures right here. For example, let's say if I'm going to order 50 pieces from China, it's going to cost me $5 for every single unit. That's gonna be a total of $250, which is gonna to equal to 183 pounds because I'm based in the UK. So I need to look at how much it's gonna cost in Great British pounds. This is the price that I'm gonna sell the item for. Again, this is just an example, but the profit that's gonna be left over is gonna be around 175 pounds once I sell all 50 pieces. And that's gonna be a return on investment of 96%. So every single time I'm looking for a new winning product to sell, I always make sure that this figure right here is over 50, sometimes 45%, depending on the competition. And that's all going to be dependent on how much it's going to cost me for the item and how much I can realistically sell the item for. So these are the things that you need to make sure that you're doing before you send any money to any supplier for any product, because you need to make sure that you're getting a decent return on investment. Now, the way that this spreadsheet works is that it's got all of the eBay fees already in it. So I'm gonna unhide all of them right now by just clicking on unhide. And as you can see, there's more to the spreadsheet. There's eBay fees right there, fixed eBay fee, the total eBay fee, VAT on eBay fees, the postage as well, that's also been calculated, the packaging, the import taxes, and that's gonna give me my return on investment. So as I already said, this is the spreadsheet that I like to use every single time I'm importing a product from China, just so that I can go in there, double check the return on investment, see whether or not it's worth it, see if I'm gonna make a decent amount of profit. And if you wanna get access to the spreadsheet, you can find it in my step-by-step -step eBay guide, Project eBay, where I walk you through everything you need to know when it comes to finding a winning product, finding a supplier, communicating with suppliers, calculating return on investment, eBay advertising, how to remove negative feedback, how to brand your eBay store. There's gonna be a lot of information in there. So you can find that at www.projecteBay.com or you can go to the first link in my description down below. So if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And if you wanna watch another video that I made not too long ago, where I broke down the basic steps that you need to take when it comes to actually starting your eBay business, I'm gonna leave that video right there. Make sure you check that out straight after this one because it's helped out so many people. And comment down below if you've got any questions because I'm trying my best to respond back to as many people as possible. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.